Hi, this is the story of Jonah and the Big Fish. Many years ago, a man named Jonah lived in the land of Israel. One day, God told him to go to Nineveh, the biggest, most powerful city in the world. Hello, I'm Jonah. Jonah was warned to all the people there that God knew how wicked they were. I don't like you. And I don't like you. Jonah disobeyed God. Instead of going to Nineveh, Jonah got onto a ship and sailed away in the opposite direction to a place called Tarshish. The Lord God sent out a great wind into the sea. There was a huge storm. The sailors feared the ship might break apart and sink. The storm got worse and worse, terrified the sailors prayed to their gods and threw all the cargo overboard to lighten the ship, but nothing helped. Jonah was the only person on board who wasn't praying. Instead, he was lying down in, inside the ship, sound asleep. What are you doing sleeping? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe God will think of us and will not be destroyed. The sailors soon decided that their trouble had something to do with Jonah. He told them that he was running away from Lord. They asked, what should we do to you so the sea will become calm? Throw me into the sea and I am certain this is why the storm has come. The sailors didn't want to throw Jonah overboard, so they rowed hard to bring the ship to land. But they couldn't. There was only one thing to do. After praying for forgiveness, the sailors lifted Jonah up and tossed him over the side. As Jonah disappeared below the waves, the sea became still and the wind died down. A sudden change in the weather scared the sailors more than the storm did. They must have known only God could do that. In fear and wonder, they worshipped the Lord. Meanwhile, the disobeyment messenger got a big surprise helplessly sinking into the depths below the sea. Jonah knew nothing could save him from drowning. He would have drowned too, but God had other plans. Meanwhile, the, oh, the Lord had prepared a big fish to swallow up Jonah. The fish was right on time. One gulp and Jonah was out of the sea and into the fish's belly. Jonah stayed inside the fish for three days. He had lots of time to think and pray. Three days later, Jonah finally promised to obey God. Right away, God spoke to the fish and it vomited Jonah onto the beach. Once again, God told Jonah to go to Nivea and preach God's word. This time, Jonah went. Jonah entered the city shouting in 40 days. Nivea will be overthrown. The people of Nivea believed God's word. They went without food and wore sackcloth to show God that they were sorry for their sins. Even the king humbled himself before God. 
he got off his throne, put on a sackcloth, and sat in ashes. He commanded everyone to turn from their wicked ways and violence and pray that the Lord would forgive them. God did forgive them. It must have been a wonderful day of joy in Nivea when the real when the people realized that God had forgiven them. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it.